Hi, I'm Gavin Giovanoni. I'm Professor of Neurology at Barts and the London School of Medicine and Dentistry. I'm often asked what are the unmet needs or major challenges from an MS research perspective, uh, as well as treating people with MS. And obviously there is the focus on very early, in other words, trying to prevent uh, MS. But then there's the elephant in the room, which is what I would call the real MS, which is called smoldering disease. And it's quite clear now that despite having very effective anti-inflammatory therapies and rendering patients relapse-free and uh, with no new or enhancing lesions on MRI scan, which I uh, uh, refer to as having no evidence of inflammatory disease activity, a significant number of our patients will continue to progress. Um, this is uh, overt clinically, and we like to think of that as non-relapsing non secondary progressive MS, and some people refer to that observation as progression independent or relapse activity. But even if we're not seeing it clinically, it's happening uh, when we use more sensitive techniques, cognitive testing, for example, or we use um, brain volume changes, or we look at the size of the thalamus, um, or we use other imaging te techniques to pick up um, the smoldering inflammation or smoldering pathology that's occurring in MS. So it's quite clear we need to go beyond uh, NIDA uh, and tackle this end organ smoldering process. And until we normalize uh, brain volume loss uh, and normalize uh, what happens to that brain, we're not going to get on top of MS for the majority of our people, patients with the disease. So the new frontier then is what do we have to add on to uh, to manage smoldering MS? Now, this could potentially be done with dual action therapies, uh, drugs that, for example, stop inflammation, but also target, say, the microglia macrophage inflammatory reaction in the central nervous system. And uh, there's a new class of therapies called bruton tyrosine kinase inhibitors, BTK inhibitors, that inhibit B cells uh, in the periphery, but also um, potentially downregulate the pro-inflammatory microglia in the brain. So that's a dual action therapy. But I suspect we need to kind of, we're going to have to have combination therapy, so add-on treatments on top of um, our current anti-inflammatory therapies to tackle smoldering MS. The other thing is we shouldn't forget about brain health because there are lots of other things that happen to our brains that drive uh, or make, could exacerbate smoldering MS. So poor diet, lack of sleep, concomitant medications, comorbidities. There are lots of other things that people with multiple sclerosis can do to try and optimize their outcome. So this is why it's, it's more than just creating combinations or add-on therapies, but also managing this disease holistically. So that's it, the big challenge, uh, the biggest challenge going forward in the next decade or two will be getting the MS community to understand that the real MS is smoldering disease, and we need more than anti-inflammatory diseases, anti-inflammatory treatments to tackle smoldering MS.